Welcome back to the lab videos for Government 300. We're going to immediately pick up where we left off in our last video by continuing to test hypotheses using chi-square, only this time we'll be looking at ordinal by ordinal relationships. Recall that we ended the last lab after performing a chi-square test for significance and interpreting a phi coefficient to determine degree or strength of the relationship. This lab introduces a different measurement for degree and form called tau b. Tau b is the appropriate measurement of degree and form for ordinal by ordinal comparisons. Let's look at an ordinal by ordinal comparison in SPSS. Suppose you wondered what explained variation in attitudes about the death penalty. In the NES 2008 dataset, let's run a frequencies table on death pen. So go to analyze and descriptive statistics choose frequencies, sort our variables, and navigate down to our variable of death pen. Select that into the variable pane and click OK. Notice that the four categories are ordered. Now think in terms of explaining this variation. You've heard support for the death penalty coming from more conservative politicians, but you'd like to test this. Let's use the variable liberalism3, which is a measurement of political ideology, to explain variation in support for the death penalty. All right, suppose we hypothesize that the more liberal someone is, the more likely they will oppose the death penalty. Our null hypothesis in this case would be there is no relationship between political ideology and support for the death penalty. All right, so minimize out of this output. And let's go ahead and test this hypothesis using uh, chi-square for significance and tau b for degree and form. So go to analyze, descriptive statistics, down to cross tabs, and we'll take this relationship out of here and select our dependent variable, which is support for the death penalty. Place that in the rows pane and then navigate to our independent variable, which is the political ideology, or liberalism 3. Select that and place that into the columns pane. And make sure that we have our column percentages ticked. And click on the statistics tab, and we're going to unselect phi and Kramer's v. And instead, we're going to select tau b because remember this is a ordinal by ordinal comparison. Click continue and click OK. Alright, let's look at this cross tab first to see if the relationship we hypothesized is visually apparent. So comparing across categories of the independent variable indicates that the more liberal one is, the more likely they are to oppose the death penalty. Now notice also that our dependent variable is coded with higher values indicating more opposition. So to indicate that, Let's move over to the variable view and then scroll down to our variable, dependent variable, death, death penalty. And then slide over to the values cell here. And you see that 1 through 4 is coded from favoring to not favoring. Paying attention to how our variables are coded is very important. When we are determining the direction of relationships, the numeric order of variables does not always correspond to the intuitive ordering of the value labels. With this variable, however, since we are conceptualizing our relationship as more liberal and more likely to oppose, we'll leave this coding as is. If you hypothesize this relationship differently, however, the more conservative and the more likely to support the death penalty, you would want to recode your variable from zero, no support, to four, a very supportive. Now let's interpret the results of these tests. Remember this is an ordinal by ordinal comparison, so the appropriate test for significance is chi-square and the appropriate test for strength and degree and form is tau b. Remember from the lecture videos that gamma overestimates the impact of our independent variable on our dependent variable, so we will always use tau b as a more conservative estimate of the degree and form. With a chi-square value of 
0.691, at 6 degrees of freedom, and a p-value of 0, 0.000, I can be more than 99% confident that the relationship observed in the sample also exists in the population. Thus, I can reject the null hypothesis that no relationship exists. Recalling how our dependent variable of support for the death penalty is coded, the more opposition, the higher the values, we notice that the tau b coefficient is in the direction specified, or it's a positive coefficient. So, with a tau b coefficient of 0 0.143, we can claim this is a weak, positive relationship. So, while it is significant, just a small amount of variation is explained in support for the death penalty by political ideology. You may want to practice at this point testing ordinal by ordinal relationships with chi-square and tau b. Or when you're ready, you can move on to looking at control and graphics for bivariate relationships.